All right, folks, uh, let's start. Uh, this is Dr. Yuzo. Uh, this is a EC341 Power Systems course. And uh, the, today is our uh, fifth course. And uh, we're going to start to talk about the three phase power. Okay. Uh, in the GAN chart, we are right here. Uh, we are right here at uh, this particular cell. Okay. We have uh, one last lecture for this module two uh, on next Monday. And then right after, we're going to have a quiz uh, about this module and this module particularly. Uh, at the beginning of today, I want to talk about the, the quiz a little bit more. Okay, uh, The quiz one be, will be available right after next Monday's lecture, 5.20 p.m. Okay, And uh, this quiz, listen carefully, has no time limit. However, it's available for 24 hours. Did I make myself clear here? It's like a homework. Once you start it, it's all depending on when you start it and how much time you can have within the next, within uh, 24 hours. Okay. Again, going to be available to take by 5.20 on next Monday, 21st. And the due in 24 hours from then, which is obviously Tuesday, 5.20. No time limit for the quiz. And only two problems. And uh, it's all about the module two, the, the basic power concepts and some calculations. And you need to uh, write on the uh, paper, handwritten works, and then presenting all of the details, calculation, and then scan and then submit, upload a PDF file as the answer sheet. Any questions regarding this quiz I'm talking about? Please speak out. Uh, much, much more efficient. All right, got that. Okay. Anyways, regarding. Uh, uh, is there anything yes. that you might think we would want to look over before taking it? Uh, in terms of knowledge, nope. I okay. don't think. I mean, the, it's, it's about the single phase and the three phase. It's about single phase and three phase and the power calculation. And uh, here I want to uh, bring up a, a, the due date or deadline stuff one more time, even though we have talked about a lot at the beginning of the semester. Uh, the due date uh, deadline thing you can easily find from the uh, modules, okay? From modules, and you click anything, and then you will see, you'll be able to see the uh, uh, deadline, for example, uh, you can have a exam a time survey, and uh, once you click it, you, you will be able to see a variable from when, and then due by when, right? So you can always see the a uh, clear and exact date and the time. Okay. Uh, therefore, I'm not seeing any reason for forgetting the due date, well, except you didn't check it at all. So. And this is how you should uh, manage your uh, time arrangement, etc. Okay, but here the, the quiz one. Well, I can't click it because uh, that way can, can present the quiz content. But anyways, it's going to be available uh, right after next Monday's lecture, uh, and, uh, due in twenty four hours from then. Any other questions regarding the uh, regarding our quiz? All right. If this is clear, then then let's go on. Let's go on. Uh, try to finish uh, three phase today. Uh, first of all, before three phase, let's review quickly the single phase. Uh, single phase power. 
uh, we learned the instantaneous power, active power, which is also called uh, average power, reactive power, and apparent power, a power factor, and also including the uh, impedance angle, and pretty much we have these three things involved into a so-called power triangle, right? In my opinion, which is the most powerful tool we can use to uh, conduct the calculations. And here we just uh, review one thing, one formula, which is the apparent power, which whose real part is active power. The memory part is reactive power. With units of watts and VAR, respectively. And of course, this guy's unit is VA. Okay, all of these very important. Besides, it equals to what? Voltage RMS value, phaser, times current RMS value, phaser, conjugate. Okay, I don't forget this. I don't forget this. All right. And the also, it equals to what? We have two other version. One is in terms of voltage and impedance is equals to voltage RMS phaser magnitude. Okay, be careful. Magnitude square divided by impedance conjugate. And also it equals to impedance times the current RMS phaser magnitude square times impedance. We notice that there's no conjugate here, okay? There's no conjugate here, okay? It's just a Z itself. It's a single phase, yeah, this single phase. Yeah, the, uh, the basic formula we learned. Okay. Now let's talk about three phase. Now it's time for three phase, okay? Three phase. Let's just talk about the three phase power. Uh, first, First of all, let's talk about the uh, uh, some basic concepts. Okay. What does it mean by basic concepts? Well, we need to learn, first of all, the three-phase voltage and the current. Uh, it's very nice that you guys, uh, I think, have learned a lot about them in the uh, 335. So here... Um, I think it's much, much easier to understand and, and uh, recall. So first thing about three-phase voltage. And there means three sinusoidal voltages. Here, be careful. Once again, Harmonic free, okay, harmonic free. And in this class, we, we were not studying any uh, harmonic related uh, voltage or, or, or current, okay? We are assuming harmonic free. In other words, the sinusoidal, the voltage, it has unique frequency of fundamental frequency, which is 60 hertz here or 50 hertz some other place because uh, even Canada is using 50 hertz, right? Because all of Asian countries are using uh, 50 hertz, Canada as well, as far as I know. And even European countries, I think, maybe except uh, England, are using 50 hertz. Okay. Uh, but here we are using 60 hertz. So both are called fundamental frequency, okay. just a different power system, power network. So that frequency is the frequency we use, uh, we have in our voltage or current. And these three phase voltage, all of them are sinusoidal with fundamental frequency. And among them, what, 120 degree phase shift. between any two phases. 
and C magnitude. So phase there are what? Phase A, B, and a C, right? Or maybe lowercase a and b and c. Okay. And also since 120 degree degree phase shift and same magnitude means what? This is called balanced. Balance three phase, uh, balance three phase voltage. Yeah, balance three phase voltage. Okay. Uh, big unbalanced means you probably have uh, a different uh, phase uh, uh, phase shift other than one twenty, or you might have different magnitude. Okay, among those three phases. Okay. But here we are studying the balance one. Okay, at least this module okay, we are studying the. Uh, um, Balance one. And further, that means what? Let's say phase A might equals to V angle of zero, and then phase B, phaser. Okay, we are talking about phaser. We're trying to, same magnitude, right? Angle of 120. Phase C equals to same magnitude, angle of magnitude 120, or positive 240, they're the same. Okay. Negative 120 and the positive 240, they're talking about the same angle. But this is the one thing. Uh, balance the three phase voltage. And to balance three phase voltage, we have uh, obviously uh, sequences here. Right? Sequences. What does it mean by sequence? It's very easy to understand. If look at this VABC, this example we had here. B is leading A by 120 degree. Phase C is leading B by an is lagging A by 120 degree, which means that leading B by 120 degree. Does that make sense? However, it of course possible to have the other way around case, right? Therefore, we're gonna have two cases. Mm. It's just like the phaser diagram. Say the horizontal one is phase A. Right? So our example uh, was like this. Right? Phase B is leading phase A by 120 degree. And phase C is leading phase B by another 120 degree, which means also lagging phase A by 120 degree. 120, 120, and 120. Okay. And of course, it's possible to be the other way around, right? Phase B is lagging phase A by 120, and phase C lagging further phase B by another 120, right? Therefore, leading phase A by 120. Of course, it's possible, right? So what matter is here? What matter is here? This is called positive sequence. This is positive. This is negative. Good, good. Okay. Now let's talk about the benefits of three phase. Anyone knows what's the benefits of, of the three phase over the single phase? Any noticeable one? Uh, efficiency. Doesn't it have to do with efficiency? Uh, how? Um, by having them uh, out of phase, each one out of phase, you're providing a more consistent load or power. Uh, close, but not exactly because because we don't want to. Uh, um, actually, the 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 most significant uh, benefits is actually the three phase power. It's a very good. I heard the uh, correct answer from Alex Smith. Instantaneous power. Instantaneous power. Of three-phase system. Is what? 
It's constant. Don't freak out. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't have any voice. Okay. I'm just a keep writing. Now I, I start to have some voice. But uh, instantaneous power expressed in this way, right? Uh, very easy to understand because uh, uh, this this term is obviously one single phase for phase A itself. Okay. And this is for phase B, for phase C. And then you sum them up equals the instantaneous power of the total three phase. And due to the, exactly due to the phase shift, as John mentioned, the resultant instantaneous total power is constant. Okay, believe it or not, it is constant. This video stopped. Yeah, again, bandwidth issue. So it's really hard to, to control this uh, quality. Uh, all right. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin. Thank you, Suba. Good. All right. So it's constant. Okay, this is the most significant benefit. All right. Because recalling back in the single phase is not a case. It's not the case. All right. No. Another benefit I have to mention, okay, as John said, basically John is right. However, the efficiency you have to talk about, he mentioned the efficiency issue, uh, battery efficiency. Actually, we have to um, mention in a specific detailed system, application, or say, three-phase motor drive system. runs much better than single phase. In terms of uh, efficiency and the what? Smooth torque, the smooth torque. And this, these are benefits, very significant, maybe not many, however, absolutely more than enough for us to go with three phase, abandon the single phase, except some special applications, all right? So now let's talk about the connection. I would say three phase connection. But well, the connection is, it could mean connection of three-phase source or three-phase load. Okay. Could be either one. But here, uh, we just uh, take uh, the load as example to see how we identify the uh, quantities, different quantities. We have two kinds of load. We have two kinds of uh, connection. The first one is Y connected, second one is delta, as you know. The Y connected load, let's see. As you know, it looks like this way. Yeah, with 335 knowledge, uh, you guys definitely know this well. Assuming these three, these three terminals are A, B, and C feeding three-phase power towards this A, B, C in lowercase three terminals at load. Okay, so in the middle here is obviously a Y-connected load, Y-connected three-phase. 
balanced load. Okay, balanced load. Of course, what I mean by balanced load? Very easy to understand. Balanced load means what? For Z, Y, one, or say Z, Y, A equals Z, Y, B equals to Z, Y, C. And we simply just label them as what Z, Y, right? Z sub Y. Because all three phase load are same, are same. Okay. But this is called balanced load. They don't have any uh, phase uh, phase shift. Okay, balance doesn't mean any phase shift. Okay, the same, exactly the same. It must be the same. This is called balance load. And the, these are what balanced line impedance. Balanced line impedance, obviously. This is Y connected, Y connected load. And uh, what you need to know is actually these concepts. Uh, these concepts. These concepts. First, assuming balance the load as we have mentioned. Second, assuming what positive sequence, positive sequence we are talking about rather than the negative, okay? And then we study what? First the term, phase voltage, phase voltages. The, the, the thing really uh, confuses students is the definition or say who are the phase voltages? Right? Not necessarily the calculation, but who are they? Now, where are they in the circuit? This is the uh, trouble I see a lot, happen a lot in, in the student. Who are phase voltages in this Y-connected load? Okay. That's the thing you need to be very, very clear. The phase voltage means what? The phase voltage is that basically for both Y and the delta-connected load means what? The voltage across per phase load okay across per phase load then go back to the circuit right now which is the voltage across the, the the per phase load of course y connected we have a neutral point n they label it as n as you know and in this circuit then the, and the which voltage is the voltage across the per phase load well first of all per phase load is just nothing but zy the voltage across it of course is v what lowercase a n so phase voltages were v a n v b n and v c n okay. knowing who are they is the first step and the most important step and also according to my experience it's also the most difficult uh, step okay. anyways here we go the voltage across per phase load that's the load phase voltage okay and their relationship is uh, fairly easy you have v phase magnitude with angle of zero or say angle of theta you can assume a, a, a non non uh zero value since it's balanced so VAB and gonna have exactly same magnitude. And what? Angle of what? What do you think? Theta plus 120. Uh, close. Negative 120. Excellent, excellent. Why is that? Oh, we're doing a positive exactly system. very good very good very good very good very good very good. Yeah, yeah. be careful of this okay. be careful of this very good be careful of this yeah. be careful of this okay positive sequence yeah it matters yeah, it matters so this is the uh three phase balance the phase voltage and who are they and uh their 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 relationship among 
each face among any among those three faces. And the next is the uh, line voltage. Now keep in mind we still under the roof of Y connected load. Okay, we're not talking about the delta yet. Okay, but uh, you need to be clear uh, about this archive archive thing. So we're, it's still under Y connected load and the line voltage. Uh, once again, who are they? Line voltage means what? It means voltage. Across whom? Not per phase anymore. Okay, not per phase anymore. Across any two phases. What does it mean? Is this? Look, look at the, the three, Y connected three phase load here. So the voltage across two phases means what? From phase A to phase B. So from A to B, VAB is one of the line voltage. V A B line voltage. Uh, we need to use another uh, or say, let's just uh, here talk about the relationship. What I matter now is after knowing who are the uh, Phase voltages and the line voltages. Uh, now, what matter is with the phase voltage value known, how to derive the uh, line voltage? VAN, VBN, VCN, we know, okay, correspondingly, VAB, VBC, VCA, what are they? Here's the relationship. I think you, you guys also learned, uh, which is the line voltage, again, for Y connected, okay. Uh, no matter what, keep this in your mind. Okay, to Y connected load, line voltage magnitude equals to phase magnitude times square root of three. And line voltage phase equals to phase Voltage phase angle plus 30 degree. Therefore, here equals what? The phase magnitude times square root of three angle of theta plus 30. And of course, it's also equals to VAN phaser times square root of three, angle of 30. Same thing, doesn't make sense. And the black color formula is actually uh, more generalized. Doesn't make sense. Here, be careful the cars, uh, the relationship, okay? When we talk about VAB, this particular line voltage, we are going to VAN, this particular phase voltage, rather than VB, that doesn't make sense. A VBN is serving for VBC, this particular line voltage. In other words, VBC equals to VBN, which is V phase angle of theta minus 120, and then what? Law 30 degree. Of course, we have square root of 3 in front. In other words, it equals what? VBN times square root of 3. 30 degree. Does that make sense? Similarly, to find VCA, we need VCN. Okay. Don't use the wrong phase voltage to find the line voltage. All right. It equals square root of three. Oh, I'm sorry. Square root of three, V phase here, and then the phase. So of VCN back here is theta plus 120 degree. Oh, plus another 30 degree here equals to the uh, base angle of the VCA. So it equals to VN times square root of 3 angle of 30 degree, right? So this is the, uh, uh, 
this is the uh, phase voltage line voltage. Okay, for Y connected. Okay, not a big deal. The next one is obviously is the turn for the current. Okay, the turn for the current. Turn for the current. The current to the current what we have uh, also phase current. Line current. However, once we need to know who who are they, right? Who are who are they? What are the uh, phase current? Phase current means the definition is once again for both delta and y connected load current through per phase load. Therefore, going back to the, 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 uh, the this this uh, circuit, you can easily tell who is the current goes through the uh, surface load. The current here, here, and here, obviously. I A and it is I A and it is I B and I C it right. And we're gonna have I. Current times certain angle. This time we we probably want to uh, seat I degree, and then we have phase shift, so on and so forth. Save some time. We don't list. Don't need to uh, list all of them. Okay. Obviously, this seat I is not necessarily the same as this theta. Okay. This seat I is not necessarily the same as this voltage uh, phase angle. Obviously, not necessary. Okay, this is the phase current. The next thing is what? Line current. I think you guys know the conclusion. The, the line currents are what? Or what? The Y connected load. The same. The same. Now here we go. Okay, the same. Same as phase voltage. I'm sorry, phase current, of course. Once again, under the roof of Y load, okay, we will, the delta connect load is going to be different. Line current means what? Current through each, each phase line. Go back to here is here. Okay, this is the line current basically. Line current here, line current here, and line current here. Okay. Line current here, line current here, and line current here. Due to the Y connected nature of the circuit, the current here equals the current here. That's why they're saying. Does it make sense? Line current once again is here. Okay, so going with each, reaching each, each uh, phase, They're reaching each. Terminal A, B, C. We're reaching each uh, phase terminal. Okay, so they're same. Okay, this is the uh, relationship. Once again, phase voltage times square root of three angle thirty equals to the line voltage, and the phase currents are identical to the line current in Y connected load. Okay. Similarly, you have the conclusion for the delta. Right, this is the connect of the delta a b c capital uh, they're generally speaking out of the uh the source the source and the, well I forgot the uh line impedance for phase c and, and b but it's okay a c a, b here and uh, this time Balance the load Z delta, Z delta, Z delta, and the Z delta. Right. So 
now what the matter is who are those voltages in the current voltages in the current uh, begin with uh in doubt in why we begin with phase voltage okay maybe we're gonna do that too phase voltages following the same same concept okay uh, never forget we follow the same concept so the phase voltage means nothing but the voltage across the per phase load. Therefore, who are they in here? VAB, right? Am I right? Because we need to follow the definition. Definition of phase voltage means the voltage across the per phase load, which is nothing but VAB. We're not try trying to memorize the subscripts, okay? Now, be very careful here. The reason students uh, in the past always confused is I think they are trying to memorize the subscripts. Of course, they're going to be confused. But instead, we need to understand and try to memorize the definition okay, rather than any subscript because subscripts could change to anything else. The definition. Voltage across per phase load is nothing but VAB. And that's why. Here it is. And who are the line voltages? Again, go back to the definition. Definition saying the line voltage means the voltage across two phases. Voltage across two phases. Well, guess what? Same as phase voltage does it make sense line voltages of the delta connected load are exactly the same as the phase voltages okay next the phase current once again phase currents go back to the definition the current through per phase load that's easy currents go through per phase load it's here Who are they? IAB. IBC and ICA. Okay. They might be like I phase magnitude with certain phase angle, and the rest of two phases they have 120 degree phase shift. Last one is the line current. Once again, find them in the circuit. Where are they? Line current definition is currents uh, through each phase line. Each phase line is here. Here and here. Of course, this time is not same as the phase current. We know they are what? IAA. How about that? IBB. ICC. Does it make sense? And here we have two conclusions uh, for the magnitude and phase, respectively. So the line current magnitude equals to the phase current magnitude times square root of 3. Line current phase angle equals to phase current phase angle minus 30 degree. Right? Minus 30 degree. What does it mean this? From IAB, the phase current IAB, go to the line current corresponding line current IAA. What is it? Phase times, times square root of 3. Angle is what? Minor 30 degree. In other words, is equals to IAB times square root 3 with angle 90, 30 degree. Does it make sense? And this is the uh, formula. This is the formula. Uh, this is a really formula we're studying. Yeah, we're studying. Any questions so far? Question. 
All right, if this is clear, then... Oh, by the way, um, let's take the, uh, the connected load uh, voltage relationship as example. Let me explain a little bit so how we come up with uh, this, this equation, this formula. It's actually, we are using the... Uh, The phaser diagram, okay, phaser diagram. So assuming we have EAN here, VBN here, VCN here, positive sequence, trying to derive VAB from VAN, VBN, and VCN. What do we do? Vector algebra. Vector algebra. In mind, you know, vector VAB or say phaser VAB equals what? How about VBN minus VBN? Does this make sense? Subtraction, or so the difference between phase A and the phase B phase OG is equal to the line OG VAB. Does this um, make sense? This is vector uh, algebra. You guys probably learned from uh, I, I, I'm sure math class. And if this is okay, then in terms of the vector here, the gra graph, how to plot a vector representing VAN minus VBN? How do we do that? Beginning from VBN, the end of VBN, towards the end of VAN, this is VAB. Does, does, does it make sense? In other words, this is VAN minus VBN. And to this guy, if you parallel move it to here, VAB. And to this black VAB, what we need to know is what's the angle here? And what is the length of this? Respectively, respectively representing the face angle of VAB and the magnitude of VAB, right? What is the angle here? Same, same angle as here, right? This is 120. So here, what? 30 degree. So obviously, VAB is leading VAN by 30 degree. As to the length, probably need these. Um, this length is what? If you give a perpendicular line here, inside of this right triangle, inside of this right triangle, you have this VAN magnitude, 30 degree. Therefore, what? This is equals what? VAN magnitude divided by 2 times square root of 3, right? I mean this length. The VAB's length is double of this length, so times two. The length of VAB is equal to square root of three times the length of VAN. This is a little bit of explanation how we come up with this, this, this result. Okay. We are trying to memorize the formula. However, there's a reason behind it. It's, it's algebra reason. Okay. So this is the uh, relation of the voltage and the current. And of course, never forget there's a conversion between Y and delta. Two balanced delta connected, connected load. Z delta equals to three times Z Y prime. In other words, Z Y prime equals to one third of Z delta. What is it talking about? It is like even a delta load like this 
is equivalent to, of course, here, very important, A, B, and C. The equivalent A, B, and C equivalent to this. So a Y load connected like this. And if here is Z delta, Z delta, and Z delta, then here is ZY prime, ZY prime and ZY prime. The relationship between them is ZY prime equals to one third of the Z delta. This is also you guys learn from 335 or even uh, 235, okay, to balance the load. So a... I B lowercase B, that's going to have I. Uh, the theta i minus 30, and that, that's implying that the other one's going to have minus 30 minus 120, and then minus 30 plus 120? Yes, uh, correct, correct. Okay. Correct. Would you be able to explain, um, again, the positive and the negative phase sequence? I don't really quite understand that. Pot back to the beginning of the lecture? Yeah, that. Miss, what what do you mean by explaining? You don't understand like why they are that, caught that way? How was it that you were able to determine the negative uh, that I B uh, lowercase b was minus 120 instead of positive 120? Or... Well, mm, if this is phase A, current or voltage, and then phase B, current or voltage, leading or lagging, that's phase A, can tell this positive sequence or negative sequence. What, what do you... Uh... Oh, okay. No, I, I, I marked my things wrong, that's why. Okay. Yep, thank you. All right. Sure, sure. sure. This is the uh, conversion between Y and the delta load. And uh, since you guys learned this before, so I moved a little bit faster today, but uh, should be okay. And uh, next thing today, we're going to really talk about the three-phase power. We're going to talk about the three-phase power. Let me see. The bulletin is a little bit messy. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Let's talk about three phase power. Uh, we have uh, talked about this a little bit. First of all, the instantaneous power. Instantaneous power. VAN of t times i a n of t plus v b n of t times i b n of t plus v c n of t times i c n of t of course here we are assuming uh, y connected okay so phase voltage times phase current plus phase voltage times phase current plus phase voltage times phase current and some or three phases together, then equals to this. And uh, it equals to what? If, if you really conduct this, okay. equals to three times phase voltage RMS, phaser, magnitude times, sorry, this is current, phase current RMS, Magnitude times cosine theta. And once again, theta equals theta V minus theta I. Same definition we learned from the single phase impedance angle, pretty much. Okay. This guy equals what? Yes. Does it make sense? Okay, can you imagine? This is nothing but the active power. Empty power of the uh, of the uh, three phase power. 
instantaneous power is a constant because this is a constant. Okay, this is a constant. Constant, constant, constant. This is also constant because of we are assuming the phase difference between voltage and the current, of course, is constant. So it's not a, a variable, not the variable of time. That's uh, However, RMS, right? Yes, yes. RMS, RMS. Very critical, yes. RMS. This is also same as the single phase. It has to be RMS. Okay, here, folks, remember, it has to use the RMS. And just that, the most of the time, if not otherwise being told, it is RMS value. Just like the example I, I gave, 120 volts from the outlet, what is it? RMS value. It's not peak value. Okay? The peak value is higher than that. And peak value absolutely higher than that. Okay? 120 volts, there is RMS value. The second thing is the uh, we directly go to the parent power. Uh, parent power. Parent power. Three phase of parent power. I'm using a three phi as the subscript to represent this is three phase power equals to what? Three times phase RMS voltage phaser. Okay, once again, it's a phaser. Times current, phase current, RMS phaser conjugate. What's the difference from the single phase? Well, the only one the, the, the difference, right? It's just a coefficient of three. It's a coefficient of three. And this guy, of course, the result is going to be a phaser or say the equivalent. Complex number, where the real real part is active power, the memory part is reactive power. Units remain same. Okay, there's no reason to change the unit. VA, but VAR. Right. Okay. And also, once again, this is the phase voltage and phase voltage. Current, okay. It must be phase voltage and phase current. However, we can also derive the formula in terms of line quantities. Okay, and the result is. I think you guys also learned this from the uh, uh, three three five. Okay, so I'm um, in terms of phase, in terms of line quantity, phase in terms of line quantities. Just be very careful that the coefficient of square root of three negative angle thirty degree. Okay. Same problem you 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 are doing in terms of line. Or phase, you should end up with exactly exactly same uh, power results. Okay. Okay. This is the apparent power, which can directly tell you the active and the reactive as well. So here, I want to uh, emphasize: there is no reason for us to find the active power and then reactive power respectively, to and then to come up with the apparent power. No, there is no reason. That's absolutely the otherwise of the shortcut, okay, the opposite of the shortcut. Okay, so you want to directly go to the apparent power, uh, apparent power, uh, complex power, we're say, in terms of either phase quantities or line quantities, whichever is more convenient. Any questions before going through an example? Uh, this example Just is to make sure that I'm correct on the uh -huh. phase and referring to line. When you're referring to, in this case, this is a Y connected load, right? No, 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 no. These two formula are for both Y and the delta. Delta, okay. 
and that's and then the phases are the the leads that stick out next to the the uh, what is it the line impedance not the actual load impedance part of it is that zl those are the ends of when you're referring to phase that's referring to the end terminals on the z next to zl the line uh, impedance right the impedance we are talking about it here here and here and here and here does not include the zl we're not uh, we're not uh integrating the zl to the load no we're not okay they're they're not same thing we're not integrating zl to the load no no, no. separate them so phase voltage would be uh, lowercase b to lowercase a, that would be an example of a, a phase voltage? Or is that? Yes, lowercase a and lowercase b, that's phase voltage. And then what's the, the line voltage would be uppercase a and uppercase b? Line voltage? Line voltage and, low, uh, and, and the phase voltage for delta connected are exactly the same. Remaining as vab, oh, lowercase. Okay. They're okay. same. They're the same. See, phase voltage, the same and line voltage. However, in the exam, I think the best way to express your answer is like this, like what I said here. For example, you have Y load or delta load. In, in the exam, when you write equations, I think the best way is to express it in this way. Right? Voltage phase of the Y load current phase of the Y load or voltage line of the Y load or current line of the Y load. So clear, so clear. Same thing to, to, to here, V phase delta, I phase delta, so on and so forth. It's so clear, okay? Because we're gonna use the per, per unit circuit, uh, per phase circuit, I'm sorry, per phase circuit to to solve the problem. Okay, so, so we're gonna talk about actually a single phase circuit. We are solving a single phase circuit representing the uh, three phase, okay? So I think this is the, this is the best way, and yeah, this is the best way. So you're ready. And maybe you are doing uh, from delta transfer to the Y and you want to label that Y as Y prime rather than original Y. You understand what I mean? So correspondingly here is y, I face Y prime, so on and so forth. We only have you only you could only have three cases like this. Okay. And correspondingly label them in this way in your procedure. Well, quite clear and organized. All right. Okay. Now let's let's see an example. Uh, pretty much uh, Well, the circuit is is like this. The circuit is like uh, three phase. First of all, is feeding uh, without a low. with lying impedance. Here we have A, here we have B, here we have C, ZL. Balance, here we have obviously Z delta. Right? Z delta. We have uh, And uh, this is a Y connected law, so ZY, right? Now I'm telling you that ZL is equals to 2 plus 4J, Z 
delta is equals to 60 minus 45j and zy equals to 30 minus 40j and find first of all the so-called per phase circuit if you see how to find a per phase circuit it's fairly easy and based on which okay everything is based on per phase uh, circuit we are conducting the calculation Looking for the uh, three phase source power as three phase. And then we are looking for the uh, up three phase. Y connected load power S Y or say S three phase Y. Then find three phase delta connected load power S sub three phase delta. Is that clear? So this is the example. Uh, this is the example. Not much time left, but uh, we can. Uh, what is the per phase what at for number one? Per circuit, phase? circuit, circuit, circuit. C I R C, circuit. So let's finish the uh, first question. What does it mean by per phase circuit? Per phase circuit is very easy because we're dealing with the three phase balanced system. Everything is balanced. So we just pick one of the phase to do the, uh, to do the uh, calculation. And guess, remember the three phase power equals the three times phase RMS times current RMS conjugate. That phase uh, current and the voltage are single phase right? that means certain phase rather than three times the phase right so we we just choose one phase represent a circuit so how to represent a circuit say if you're, you're choosing uh phase a so if you are choosing phase A, and uh, the left end of the circuit is obviously phase A capital A, and uh, the ground, the so-called ground, is neutral point, which is the neutral point here. Okay, so neutral point. The, the ground here is neutral point of the y connected load. Okay, and also we need to think of the uh, delta load. So kind of like this, okay. Step one, delta load need to be converted to Y load. Okay. I'm writing the, the kind of uh, tips here. You don't have to exactly follow, but kind of suggestion. You are converting the delta to Y prime. If you con convert the delta here to y prime, what is the result of the connection? It becomes y. However, once again, to differentiate from the original y, we call it z y prime. Okay, remember they're different. Obviously, z y prime equals what? One third of z delta. Therefore, equals to what? 20 minus 15j, right? Because this is the first step. You're converting any presenting delta to y load, of course, y prime load, right? Step two, what you need to be careful is look at this from A to N. This is this is what? This is a phase voltage. 
transverse voltage here equals what? And if problem is labeling here as sorry, I forgot to label the voltage here. The source voltage is uh, two hundred seven point eighty five volt. So first of all, our understanding is this is a RMS value. Also, this is what line voltage. And generally speaking, is Y connected? The source, generally speaking, is Y connected? Okay. This is what this labeled voltage is telling us. Also, this is a magnitude only. And further, we are assuming phase angle is zero. In other words, we are using zero angle degree as the source reference. Okay, this is how we deal with the givens. First, transfer any delta to y. Second, deal with the source voltage. Correctly understand it. Y connected load, Y connected source with line voltage magnitude as 207.85. What does this mean? It means VAN here in per phase circuit. is Y connected phase voltage. Does it make sense? VA in here is phase voltage. I'm going to say this is a phase source. As equals what? Given this line, go back to phase. What is it? 207.85 volts divided by square three, right? Does it make sense? Why connected? Line go back to phase. What do you do? Divide by square three. And the tricky thing is here. We are making the source phase voltage phase angle as zero degree. Like we said here, make the phase voltage phase equals to zero degree. Okay, and that's why I'm using the red. All right. So this is a step one and a step two. And we can stop here. And uh, when you go back home during the weekend, you, you want to digest uh, what we have talked about this uh, example. And then on um, Monday, we're going to finish it. And I'll buy some uh, examples about the, uh, you know, the uh, per per unit per unit system. Per unit system. Per unit system. So, any questions? I can answer. I know. Is there a reason to convert delta to y? Oh, any anyone can tell why we are doing so. What's the benefit we are gonna have after this? Anyone can tell. What 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 is the reason we 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 could possibly have? Anyone? Why actually has a neutral point where delta doesn't? Excellent, excellent, very good, very good. After having the neutral point in the red here, that neutral point is considered the same neutral point, it's pretty much shorted with here, which is the ground here, which is actually also assumed to be shorted with what? The first ground, capital N. Since 
since the source is Y connected as well. So when evaluating these types of problems, we should always convert delta straight to to a Y connection. Because Correct. That's, internally that's why we have this as the first step. Does it make sense? All right. I, so, I quick question. Yeah, sure. Sure. Right after the delta connected, we wrote phase voltage VAB, VBC, VCA. Mm -hmm. um, Let me find that page. So, here. Okay. Go ahead. Is that going to be similar to the Y's line voltage, where it's uh, you? Times? You are talking about this particular example or general? General. Uh, what do you mean? The what do you mean by uh, similar? One more page where you have the Y connected and then mm -hmm. Y connected. <laughs> Yeah, so you have line voltage for a Y connection is VAB equals V, uh, the magnitude of the phase voltage times square root of three mm -hmm. theta plus 30. Is, would mm -hmm. that be the same for the delta phase voltage? Because they're both VABs, or is it something different for the delta? I mean, delta? what do you mean by phase? You can't uh, directly try to link the Y and the delta load. You you, you can't do that. Uh, I Ex guess I'm asking more of like, because all of the other ones we wrote down, like um, IAB equals I phase times the theta I. But for delta's phase voltage, we didn't write anything down. So I just didn't know if. There was something more to that oh, that I just missed. This gonna this gonna equals to like a delta v phase voltage of it equals if it's angle okay. of zero. If it's angle there. Yeah, sure, but don't confuse with this phase voltage with the y connect y connected load of phase voltage. They are not necessarily the same. Okay. Yeah, not necessarily. It might be same, but not necessarily. Is so the, you have to talk about them in a particular specific example, because in this particular example, guess what? This VAB is same as what? This VAB, right? This VAB, delta phase voltage as well as line voltage, is same as what? Line voltage of the Y here, since they're parallel. Without such a specific uh, example, no, we don't want to easily link these two together. No, delta is delta, y is delta uh, is y. Okay, yeah, I, I thought I missed something, but I wasn't sure, so I was like, I'll wait till the end. Sure, sure, sure. I separate them. Yep, I think them separately. Okay, good. So for the phase currents and a y connected load, uh -huh. those are all the same phase shift for current, or no? Current of the fade, the Y connected load, and then the current, uh, what the current have same shift. Yes. So they're all you, you, the same. And who have same current shift? shift? Who and who? I A I I B I A and I B N. Of course, they have one twenty degree phase shift. Oh, each one of them has a minus one twenty for the B N and plus one twenty for the. Minus 20. Of course, they are balanced. They're among this three phase it has to be balanced. That's why. This is among these three, this is not a Okay. I think we lost your audio again. Yeah, I can't hear you now.
Sounds good to me. Talk to you then.